In our continuing coverage of Nevada's housing crisis since the pandemic, hundreds of thousands of Nevada families and Southern Nevada families have faced eviction or gotten a notice. Numbers soared from 2022 into 2023. It started to level off into 2024. Keep in mind the numbers are still coming in, but housing advocates call this abnormally high. Inflation's a big factor here. People may have jobs, but can't afford all their bills and the rent. My mom is the light of my life. That's like my best friend. She's had both of her hips totally replaced. Right now, my sole focus is to stabilize my mom. Vincente Buchanan came to Las Vegas eviction court Thursday to fight to keep his disabled mother in her home. The security guard and U.S. Army recruit recently moved in with her to help her out before he heads off to service. Neither he nor his mother knew it, nor did they get a proper notice from the landlord. The rent went up $500 a month. A seven-day eviction that was issued to my mother Stating that she owed almost $10,000 in back rent. The apartment itself, um, if I can be frank, is falling apart. Vincente reached out to Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada for help. In his court hearing, his family won, but he saw plenty of other desperate families. There were a lot of people that were even in the courtroom that had little children. Being someone that was born and raised here, um, it's heartbreaking. Clients are getting hit on all sides. It isn't just that the rent is going up, but even the ones that do have regular employment are facing higher and higher costs that they just can't match. Attorney Nick Haley says the Civil Law Self-Help Center remains busy with a constant stream of people that need help. According to the Eviction Lab, tracking trends in the Las Vegas Valley, last month 4,400 households got an eviction notice. It is still 40 percent higher than before the pandemic. We not only need more affordable options, but we need better quality housing. Much of our stock in Las Vegas is falling apart. My mom at least is able to stay in her apartment for now, but that doesn't mean necessarily that this is over. The Nevada Housing Coalition says the state lacks 78,000 affordable housing units for low-income individuals and families. That means there's roughly only one home for every 10 families in need. If you need help with a housing situation or an eviction notice, the Civil Law Self-Help Center has free resources. All the details are on this story on our website on foxivegas.com.